Evening guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well this evening. It's Dan here from The Tool Room and tonight we are going to be looking at the Klein Tools NCVT6 Voltage Tester and Distance Measure and we're going to be doing a more in-depth review. Now I'm sure you saw the other day when I did the unboxing and the brief overview of it. Well tonight we're going to be looking a bit more at some of its key features. We're going to be having a look what it can do, how it performs and we're going to be forming an opinion of that. So firstly, a shout out to Vanessa from SuperOdge UK for sending me this tool. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate being able to get to test this and use it. It's been a good tool and I've used it quite a lot. And now I've had a bit of chance to use it. Um, I can do a bit more of an expert opinion on what I think of it. So this is what we're going to do tonight. So let's just get into that then. So firstly then, the NCVT6. NCVT stands for non coil contact voltage tester. Six would suggest there are others, and there are. There is the NCVT1, which is your standard sort of does what it says on the tin uh, basic voltage tester. There is the NCVT2, which is the same but does low voltage and high voltage. There is the NCVT3, which is the first of the dual purpose ones, which has a non contact voltage tester and a torch on it. There is the NCVT4IR, which has a temperature measure on it, so you can test for hot cables and you can also, you know, test your, your own temperature, which is quite useful in today's climate. Um, and then you have the big boy, the NCVT6, which is the voltage tester with the distance measure. Now, I have had my eye on this for quite a while because in my job I have to use a distance measure quite often because I have to quote for things so if I've got a fire alarm for example um, um, a smoke detector which is high up and I need to change it and I have to get a cherry picker in or a scissor lift to be able to do that then it's really great that I can actually you know use one of these to actually measure how far I need it to know how big a lifter I need so it's great to have a dual purpose tool because it saves weight in your tool bag you know, you can pop this in your pocket rather than having to carry around my distance measure and one of these. I use one of these quite often. Now, also for me as a, a fire and security guy, I work with low voltage quite a lot. So it's really great for me that this one does 12 volts to 1000 volts. Now, even though I can't get zapped um, or injured by a 24 volt fire alarm, it's sometimes good to know if there is power there because I need to know that because I can still short circuit something. And if you short circuit something in an intruder alarm, it can cause all sorts of problems. You can't get it out of engineer mode and it's an absolute pain to find which fuse you've blown. OK, so it's really useful to know if you've got voltage at low voltage as well. And of course, we use 240 volts as well. So we've got the safety of this. Now, disclaimer, I'm going to come in straight away before the uh, for the voltage tester police come in. OK, these are not for proving dead. You cannot do safe isolation with a non-contact voltage tester. OK, these are only to show that something is live. OK, so you can test it. You can see if something's live, if it picks up a reading, then you can go and do the safe isolation practice on turning that power off. OK, so this cannot prove dead. It can only prove live like any other non-contact voltage stick. OK, so the disclaimer here. What else does it say on you? It says dust IP40 resistant. So your IP rating is your ingress prevention or ingress protection, whatever you want to call it. We'll just call it IP. Um, so the um, the four stands for your dust or your um, solids or anything like that. And your zero stands for your liquids. OK, so like water or anything like that. So it's got a zero rating for liquids and a four rating for solids like dust and, and dirt and things like that. So don't get it wet. Now, these are designed for use on sites, which is why you've got this protection. It takes two AAA batteries, just normal ones. So you can unscrew the end there and the batteries are in there. And just inside there is a gasket that um, will will actually, you know, prevent, you know, things getting inside it. So that's really useful. OK, on top here, you've got a clip, which is for your belt or for to clip onto your pocket or into your tool bag. It's quite a stiff one, so it holds down quite tight on something. So there's not much chance of it being for it slipping off. The whole thing is reasonably sizable, which is useful. So you're not going to lose it too easily. And it's bright yellow. Now, that's important that it's bright yellow because it is good because it means you are not going to lose it too easily. OK, now, for example, I work in a school um, 
sorry, I work in schools quite often. And if you look on here, there's a little warning on here to say that this is a laser and you shouldn't, you have to make sure you don't shine it in anyone's eyes. Now, lasers can bounce off something and shine into something else. Um, you know, you know, it can it can reflect off glass and go a different direction. So you've got to be careful with lasers. You've got to know what you're doing. OK, now, if a kid finds this in a school and starts playing with it, I don't want anything to happen like that. So the fact that it's bright yellow means that, you know, I'm a lot less likely to lose. Her. And the last thing you want to do is lose something in a school where the kids will kind of pick it up and go, oh, shiny, you know, and they'll start playing with it and pressing buttons and end up injuring themselves. Same goes with a standing knife, I suppose. You know, you don't really want to lose that in a school, so bright colours are good. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I like that it's bright yellow. Now, it's made of quite strong, tough plastic. Um, like I say, these are designed to be used in professional environments. They are designed to be used on sites, and it is quite strong and tough, this plastic. At the end here, you've got your different sensors. You've got your laser sensor, and you've got your, uh, your non-contact voltage area. Okay? You can see that there, that which picks up the voltage. And uh, yeah, and you'll notice here it has a screen on it, which not many of these have. Now, you know, I thought I thought my NCVT3 was quite cool that it had a little bar graph that told me, you know, how, how much power I was putting into things. But this one's got your full on screen. So that's a pretty much the overview of the outside of it. OK, it's rated up to a thousand volt safety. OK, um, and like I say, it's quite it's quite big, but it's, it's not big, not so big that it won't fit in your pocket. But, you know, it's not quite as easy to lose as some of the little ones. I have lost, you know, a few non-contact voltage sticks, the little ones. So that that's quite good. Now, let's switch it on then. We have further ado. So this button here, let's just go through the buttons. This button here is clearly labeled non-contact voltage. That's your distance measure and that's your settings. OK, so let's just try the non-contact voltage stick first. Now, the first thing you're going to see is got this LCD uh, screen on it. Um, and you can see that it shows you battery. Now, battery life being shown is quite good. I like that because, you know, obviously, if electronics have not worn the battery down on this one yet to know if that's the case. But obviously on electronics, you know, if, if you've got a low battery on them, they're not quite as reliable sometimes. And a low battery can sometimes cause faults. So it's good that you can see a battery. Now, if we leave it a second, you'll see it's got a power saving mode as well for the battery. So we'll see in a second that it'll flick its screen off. There you go. Off it goes. So that just saves you power a bit. OK, and this will, after a while, automatically turn itself off as well. So if you leave these things on in your bag, you know, sometimes these things are a pain. You squeeze them into a pocket. The button gets pressed and they'll switch themselves on. They will. And you'll hear it beeping away. This will turn itself off after a while. So that's cool. Right. So also it tells you you're in NCV mode, non-contact voltage mode. So you know what you're doing. And on here, then you've got your different you've got your different settings. Now I'm going to pull up here a live cable. This is a um, 240 volt cable which is plugged in. Now if I move it up towards it, it'll start picking up that it's live. Now if I put it there, you can see that it's beeping quite slowly. Now that means it's not on the side where the live is. Now this is a useful little function. I'll explain this. So if I move it round. It starts getting more and more and more and beeping faster until it gets to there. Now, you know there that you're right on the live cable, okay? So if you're unsure how someone's wired something, then you can move it around and you can go right on the right live cable and you can tell where in there the actual live is. And you've also got this little visual indicator as well to show you how close you are to the live, okay? So there's hardly anything there. Then you move around and those indicators get bigger and bigger and bigger until you get right to the end and it goes up to the full five. OK, so it's showing how much voltage you've got going through that. So, you know, you get in. That's right where the high voltage is there. So that's useful. OK, now let me show you another little function that's useful on this as well. Now, if I switch this off, OK, you hold it down and it switches off. OK, it tells you it's off. Now, if I switch this on and hold the button down, it'll say beep off. OK, so I can go to this and you can see it goes from blue to red again okay and you can see the indicators working just the same so it's picking up the full voltage there it's gone solid red okay but it's not making any sound now that is useful for me particularly okay why is that useful dan why is that useful for you well i'll tell you why this is useful because i work in a lot of offices 
and some people who are doing their quiet office jobs get quite cross with you when you make beepy noises. They don't like you. I was walking through an office once and um, I was carrying my tool bag and it accidentally pressed the button on my SDS drill and that did cause quite the kerfuffle. But I have had it where people can say, oh, can you stop beeping all the time? I'm trying, I'm on the phone or I'm trying to do something. Well, this is useful because you can turn that beep off and you can just go by the visual indicator on the screen and on the actual pen itself, on the end there, on the tester itself, to see that you've got live cable without making a noise and disturbing everybody. And the default on that, you turn it off. And if you are to turn it back on again, it goes back to its normal default, okay? And it makes a noise again. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that's what it does. Okay, so that's the functions of that. So you can see that you've got your low voltage, your high voltage, you've got your indicator on there, what you're doing, you've got your different colours, and you've got different ways in which that flashes. I don't know if I explained that fully to you, but you can see that you see how it's flashing slowly as well. And then it just goes and then until it goes absolutely solid. And then it goes absolutely solid when you're at your highest voltage, okay? So I don't know if I explained that well enough, but then there you go. So you've got quite a few ways of telling how much voltage you got through it. You've got your indicator here, you've got how that flashes, and you've got your noise, okay? They all go at different in intervals together. Um, so, you know, it, there's quite a few functions on this. You can see it's quite, you know, it's, it's quite an impressive tool, really. It does quite a lot. And like I say, it's got that low range as well, so... You know, for me, I can tell if if some if there's power in something, so I'm not going to short circuit something. Okay, so let's move on to the distance measurer then, shall we? So this is your button for distance measurer. Okay, now we can see on there that it is at the moment measuring, and it's got that little line there from the back. Okay, you can see you can see the you can see the laser on my hand there. Okay, now that it means that it's measuring from the back of the tool there. Okay not the front. So if you are against a wall or something and you want to measure from one side to the other, you can put the back against it and you can measure from the back of the tool. Okay, so that's useful if you can't actually pull the tool back into a wall so you don't have to measure this and take that distance off. So it just saves you the effort to doing that. Okay, now if I was to... So i just flick it back on. Now if I was to press this button here, I can change it so it measures from the front. So if it's easier to do that, so say you're measuring off something, um, you know, you might be measuring off a shelving unit to a wall or something, it's easier just to measure from the front of it, you can do that as well. So you can see the difference here. If I just shine this, um, if I just shine that on my hand, there is 0 0.119 uh, meters away. And then if I change it to the back and press it again, then it's 0 0.284 meters away. You, so you can see it's, it's I be, when I've used this, I've found this to be pretty accurate. I mean, I would trust this to, you know, quote for something and order something. That that wouldn't be a problem. And you can even do simple drawings with it as well. Um, obviously, we, we sometimes do simple drawings to do to order, you know, fire zone plans and things like that. And, you know, sometimes a simple drawing will suffice. And these are quite good for measuring those up. Or, you know, also measuring the distance of corridors, you know, to know that you've got enough detection for a certain amount of area for your fire alarm or you know that the the PIR will be able to reach far enough on an intruder alarm there's lots of different things that we can measure up for to use these for so they're, they're really useful now if we go on this as well turn it back on we can also on here you can see the little m in the corner there Let's see if it'll focus on me there we go the m in the corner you can also change it by pressing this and holding it down you can change it to inches you can change it to feet um, and you can change it to like um, different measurements like, you know, five sixteenths and seven sixteenths and stuff like that for, for American workers who may use those things. But we keep it on good old British meters. So you can change all the different types of measuring as well. So you can see it's a really versatile tool, really. Um, now, if I just show you this, um, now, if I start measuring this and I show you my garage door here, you can see that pressing the wrong button that's why okay so you can see that the laser is pretty strong you can see it quite well can't you that you can see that moving around my garage door there so you can see that the laser is reasonably strong on it so you know it's it, if you're if you if you if you're using it from quite a long way away or something then you, you'll be able to pick up where it's going now that that's quite useful really to have a have a strong dot there's some of these i've used and you can hardly see the dot at all 
So it's quite useful to have a strong dot on it because, you know, sometimes if you're measuring quite a long way away or the light's bad or something, or it's quite bright conditions, it's, it's really hard to see where the dot is sometimes and you don't know whether you're measuring accurately or not. Okay, so, that, so that's quite cool. Um, mentioned here, it's, um, it's rated to a Cat 4, so that's 1,000 volts. Um, and yeah, um, I found it to be a really good tool. I, I've enjoyed using this. I like the fact that it's dual function. Um, it's a bit bigger than you know some than, than some of them. Um, I don't find that an issue myself because you know I I I like bigger things because I don't lose them. Um, it's got this nice LED backlit display, which is quite nice. You know, it's it's nice and clear, and I like that you've got all these little functions on it. Like it tells you, you know, you've got your visual display of your your NCV, your your non-contact voltage. You've got your visual displays. You've got three ways of telling. So it's it's quite foolproof really um you know it tells you your battery on there so and and you know with this as well you know you've got it's great that you've got you know an, an accurate reading on you. you can change it to feet you can change it to inches whatever you want to work with if you lend it to someone if they work with something different then they've got those options to do that as well and like i say they are built for sight um, so you know they've got that that sort of uh, tough rating on them, really. Where you know they they are they have got the the ingress protection as well. So yeah, so this is the Klein NCVT6 uh, voltage tester and distance measure. Again, it's one of their dual purpose tools. I'm going to put a link for all of the voltage testers on the description below on the video. Okay, so you can go on there um, on the CEF website and you can find the right voltage tester for you, and you can get yourself hold of one of these. This one is around about the £92 mark, so this is this is one of the more expensive ones. But obviously it's cheaper than buying one a decent one of these and buying a laser distance measure, you know. So you've got to bear that in mind. It's cheaper than buying both the tools and, you know, it saves you space. And, you know, it is very accurate. It does work very well, as I found. It's, it's just as good as, as, the, as, the, as the normal... Uh, single purpose distance measure that I use. So I found it to be a very useful tool. Guys, I hope you found this video um, interesting. Um, if you want one of these yourself, like I say, I will put the link in. Tell me what you think of this. Um, if you like it, if you've had one of these, if you've had any of the uh, NCVT range from Klein and, CV, and tell me what you think of them. Um, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're not going to miss any videos. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. Thank you for all your comments. I really appreciate them as well and enjoy having tool chats with you. And again, a big thank you to um, to uh, Super Odd UK and Vanessa there from, for sending me this tool. I uh, appreciate that and uh, I'm enjoying using it. So thanks very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good night. Stay safe. Take care. See you guys.